Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Tonight, I want to share with you some rank grind. I am going through, it's the season is like progressing. We are now six days into this season, which means that the herd has thinned and I should be able to push hard into the levels that I actually want to reach. Last season, you will know that I didn't quite make champion. I was three rank points away. This season, I'm really hoping to focus fire right now in this, in the heart of this middle part, um, to maximize my my reach, getting hopefully as high as possible. I really think champion's still possible. I think it was just where I started, so we're we're aiming for champ. The bot's been playing the account for the last couple of days. We're getting some chests, but as you can see, we're not, you know, we're not climbing out of out of the gold starting point we have here yet but i think we can tonight let's try and let's try and play five games and if we go on a little win streak we, who knows maybe we'll keep on going but um if you're new to the channel my name is Dwayne cunningham i go by infidel 1258 and on the channel we cover splinter lands all day every day because it's changed my life and i think it can change yours and rank grind is totally one of the main ways you get rewards from the game so while we do this First of all, I have to do this because that's the game. But then while I do it, I like to go through and commentate on what I'm seeing, what sort of patterns my opponents might have, what sort of uh, cards I feel like I can counter with. It's a t it's an it's an ongoing implementation of thoughtful strategy. Um, uh, yeah, analyzing strategy and executing strategy. And sometimes we do it well, sometimes we do it very badly. But even when we do it badly, I hope you guys are taking away lessons on how to better do this for yourself. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I have life quest is my daily focus. I have a strong life team. Um, I'm actually inclined to rent cards and really equip myself to kick some kick some butt here. But I don't know. I'm in gold, and I feel like I sh should be like look at. I feel like as, as you can see, I have a couple rentals. This is a rental card. This is a rental card. So I mean, I think we are relatively equipped already. Now opportunity makes me want armor, and I get Grandmaster armor, Grandmaster Wraith armor, and then I can do as a taunt with Grandmaster Wraith, which circumvents the equal opportunity um dilemma and then i can really take advantage of the equal opportunity alternatively i could go dragon scale grandmaster wraith use the taunt or dragon scale obsidian with a taunt that's tempting hmm gotta decide quickly go wraith because the amplified damage and the magic reflect Oof. Yeah. We got to bring Silver Shield Knight because of the Inspire and the Trample and remember Opportunity. So we can really lean into Magic or sorry, Melee if we want. I think I want Darius for the Resurrect, but I might even have to back off of that. See, what I could do here is get rid of Darius and really, I got 10 left. I got to do melee, focus on the melee because that's where I'm going to get more damage output. This is probably my least favorite card, but at this level, it's doing four versus three. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Good. The enchanted uh, defender with the eight armor or whatever is just fine with my wraith. So he's no longer vulnerable because he gets void armor. And yeah, my opponent's doing a lot of 
magic. But we've got Void Armor, so we're certainly glad we did that. Now, he doesn't have a taunt. Oh, we win this one easy. You know, he's got a Resurrect, he's got armor, but we win this one easy. Don't we? I didn't bring any repair. I didn't bring any heal. But I bought lots of damage. The taunt is is just just being alive for even that one turn, really. That's really all we needed. Because we were able to just focus fire his real damage dealers and the Wraith armor on my on my enchanted defender, by the way. This thing would have been deleted for a shot, but because of Wraith stuck around and was able to kill that Silver Shield Paladin. Or Silver Shield Knight on the opponent team. And now this is over, right? Yep, definitely over. I haven't played this rusty android in years. And really funny that I'm playing it right now because just like yesterday, I think I said, or very recently, I talked about how that's, in my opinion, the worst card in the game. And I stand by that. But um, yeah, funny. Help me to victory. It's not, it's not without, it's not entirely without merit. It still is a card. And that's the cool thing about this game. When you're collecting assets in this game, you might think, oh, these aren't legendary gold foil alphas and betas. And, you know, it's not, I don't have a Byzantine kitty. Well, sure. Okay, fine. But like your cards have a quality and a character that you can utilize in a way, in a certain way to win. And if you know that, if you learn that language, for your deck you're gonna you can have maximal success that doesn't mean perfect success it means given what you've got you can optimize your results and that's the really cool thing about this game because it means everybody at every level can have a degree of success so flyers would be helpful Feels pretty good like right now i'm like i'm considering should i go look at my red team but i feel this is adequate for me to go ahead and say we'll do this hmm do i want dark one with this little hit points right that's the question see i can't do a silence i'm inclined try this but is that more is that better or worse everybody i've got is a flyer i'm inclined to just i'm inclined yeah let's give this a shot I might be making a mistake not taking Dark Juan, but because he he took Ouster, I'm glad I didn't bring a bunch of magic. You know, I did bring some, but obviously melee is my primary my primary thing is these two right here. What's gonna happen, I do not know. Oh wow, my little nerd's getting, got a punched off, that's huge. Hmm. Come on, yeah, landing that shot was really important. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, this is over. So like I said, once the middle of the season becomes comes around, the opportunity to just put together a win streak is really substantial. There's, I just won two games back to back, and I'm already up. I think that's 40 rank points and 40 some rank points. Honestly, if we win three more, I said we'd play five games. If we win three more, we will be in diamond, and then diamond three is a real cakewalk compared to gold one, and so we'll cruise up to diamond two quite easily, and. Um, and then encounter more 
great difficulty at diamond one. And if we can punch through D1, champ three is pretty reasonable also. Okay, so he likes fire and he's got fire. And he could definitely do a, a serious team with this with 36 mana. Hmm. Forget if I have a white monster. I do. Oh, Kinjo has immunity. Hmm. I expect him to play fire. Hmm. Tempted to try and do like real glass cannon. Just see how much damage I can put out here. Real sneak play, focusing hard on the sneak. I'm just get a Kinjo out there for purposes of immunity preservation. Yeah, I'm all my guys are gonna die fast. All of them. The only question is Do I kill him faster than he can he than the poison kills me? Hmm. I was thinking when I saw green there'd be magic. Oh yeah, no magic was allowed. Well, he didn't bring a triage, but look at like eight hit points, five hit points, four with scavenge. These guys are going to all last longer than my guys. Question is, will I hit all my shots? Now, this guy can't miss the spirit of the forest because I have snare. I will hit. This one could theoretically miss and she has six speed with flight. So there's a decent chance we miss. But if we get through the spirit of the forest this turn and we should, I'm going to say we should. If we do, and let's say we even manage to poison the Javelin Thor, I think we win. But I could also see he's got the double heals, right? Like he's got heals and he's got life for days. So it's going to take tramples and it's going to take poisons and it's going to take, you know, rapid execution. No messing around. See, there's a miss that no poison landed. Oh, he... No poison line because she's got poison. Okay, my bad. So she's dead, but it would have been great if we were able to punch the um, javelin one time also. That's great that we... And then finish off the... Oh yeah, he's got scavenge. See... Okay. Yeah, I think we got this now. Oh, but the golem can heal himself. Eesh. I thought I forgot about the poison. The poison got him and we finished him off. Dude, that was wicked. Three in a row, 50 RP. If we do that again, we are in diamond. That was a fun one. Okay. So melee only, or yeah, melee only, and everybody's equal, which definitely means fire for me for the most part. Now, dragon is an option. You know, I could go this way and just like, oh no, not melee. Melee only. So I could do dragon for the purposes of speed reduction, or I could do, you know, pyre is really important to me in this because I want the speed. But just look at this, like floating dwarf with Talia Pierce Blast. And one more hit point and what sorry, one more one more damage and one more hit point. The one more hit point is really kind of irrelevant, isn't it? It is. It is. So let's go ahead and just back out of that. And let's go Malrec. Then we are going dwarf. And then. Hmm.
Hmm. It makes a lot of sense to do. I just, I think I need to get out as many damage, as many monsters as possible. Is what makes sense. I got two sneaks. I got. Now. I could do another sneak. Horny Toad's a great choice. But alternatively, I could bring out the Ant Miners, who's going to be. Remember, he's going to have eight hit points or something like that. And he's going to have shield with scavenge. That's maybe a better secondary tank, but the Horny Toad is going to punch with the Exploding Dwarf, so. Yeah, okay, let's give this a shot. I feel good about this. It might not work, but I feel it's a strong pick. Oh, wow. Look at that. Five hit points is where we're... Or sorry, yeah, we all have five hit points, which means I can blast my way through this and trample, but he's got a fast monster with a speed manipulation. I have one speed manipulation, so we I do think we end up winning. So I think my creeping ooze is, is literally what's going to save me here. If I should land my shot, and then the question is, do I trample this guy? Oh no, there is no trample. A diamond, the, the exploding dwarf has trample. And that's why I was thinking, I was expecting a trample. That's a huge blast damage there though. And I love that we landed that shot. We didn't have to. Retaliate would have been really key, really huge. No poison. At least we got him. Yep. Huge. Love to see a poison there. Yep. There it is. Probably all we needed. Yep. Victory. Four in a row, guys. And one more. So here we go. Diamond. Boom. No messing around. I'm definitely advancing. Now we're going to see a whole different sort of set of opponents that are going to be at the diamond level, but they're going to be higher at the diamond level than I am because I'm right at the bottom. Therefore, I have I, I stand, I could get six, I could potentially get 60 rank points. Like watch, let's just see what happens. This might be the last game. Um, let's see how it goes. It is the fifth game. I said we would play five. Melee only. You like he's got a strong sneak team with the blue he's got a strong sneak team with the red i feel like if i was him i would pick this team with cerebus in the front there something like that anyway it's so I'm, i got it either way whether he picks blue i think he's gonna go blue or red and either way he's gonna have very fast monsters so i want to think speed i want to focus in on my speed now that we're in diamond, I actually want to go. I actually think I'm going to try the same thing, but watch. I'm going to focus in on magic. So watch pyre. I am bringing the dwarf, even though it's only one hit point, And even though there is no rule set for equalizer because he's so fast, he's got trample and he's got, uh, uh, sorry, he's got blast and he's got trample. So I'm actually going to give him a shot. And then what I want to do I, I want even more speed manipulation. Like, Flame Monkey makes a lot of sense. Hmm. I want a secondary monster. Speed is more important than anything else. So I'm going total glass cannon. All my cheapies. Look at, like... Um... Six speed, five speed, six speed, speed buff, speed buff, but they're all one shot and I'm, and I'm hooped. Then what could I do? We need sneak monsters, right? Hmm. Tempted to try the Charlock Minotaur in the back. 
for the retaliate purpose alone. Let's go that way, because he's going to pick melee, so we'll demoralize him once at least. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is going to work. And he's got... He doesn't have thorns. He, he doesn't have a super advanced serpentine soldier, and therefore he doesn't have thorns, which means theoretically I won't necessarily die on the first turn. He didn't bring any speed manipulation, so I am faster by two, which means I might even dodge. Let's see what happens here. This could be, this could be interesting. I'm not going to get a trample per se. Retaliate, come on. No, retaliate there would have been really, who knows? I mean, it would have opened up an opportunity, whether I'm not saying it would have translated to victory, but it would have given an opportunity. And the blast damage is taken over. Yeah, we needed more retaliates. And we needed, you know, maybe some misses from him and not from me. I mean, honestly, it wasn't that far. Like, it wasn't that unclose. And he, the guy had a Yoden. But um, that was five. And we made it to Diamond. And we're still, like, we're in gold again because of that loss. But we're still in the Diamond lead. Um, so we will be facing against Diamond components. Diamond opponent. I'm trying one more just because I feel like it. But this for sure is the last one because it's late over here. I still have to edit the video afterwards. Um, okay, so flyers are nice. Odds. Yeah, I'm going to try magic. I'm going to try magic with dragon. It means I want to go over here. Let's see what we got. Flyer, flyer. Hunt. Big hit points. Um, here's a problem. Like, I want to do a triage. To support my mystic slip spawn but then my slip spawn or my triage is going to die because of earthquake that doesn't really work hmm you know what let's try to do the double strike right Oh, we can't do Grund. Grund is um, 10 hit points, I think. I can do Carnage Titan with the double strike. You know, this is interesting because it's a flyer with retaliate, but you know what? Pelicorm. What? This mercenary isn't max level. Oh, because I'm, I'm rocking with a Delwyn Dragon skill that's not max level. That almost changes what I want to do, but it doesn't. That's for, that's pretty rare. Delwyn Dragon Skill versus Delwyn Dragon Skill. And are you kidding me right now? Like the similarities here with even this fact that we both have Robo Dragon Knight and we both are dropping that is very surprising. This card is so good and so ridiculous. I don't know. I'm not sure who wins. I'm, I've got more magic monsters than he does. But he has a snare monster. That that monster is annoying because the, the dragon jumper can't help but miss. Or sorry, can't help but hit. And it fully deleted my taunt. And before the taunt got to fire too, which is annoying. And so he snared my flyer. So my flyer is no fly, not no longer flying. And he hit me and stunned me. Oh, okay. So it's still a flyer. You no, know, see how Earthquake landed on that flying unit? Because this has a repair at higher levels, which would have really changed, maybe affected, powerfully affected things for me. But as you can see, we're done. The Dragon Jumper was pivotal with his snare. Because as a flyer, it's immune to an earthquake, and then because it uh, dis and then it, the snare opportunity really eliminates those opponents who are also flyers. 
it's a very smart monster to play in the context of um, Earthquake rule set. So well done for my my opponent there. I'm actually going to leave it there. It's okay. We got two more chests while we're at it. I think we got three or four more chests from the daily focus while we were at that. Um, we made it to diamond. Tomorrow, when I'm feeling energized and ready, I feel confident we will climb easily into diamond one, and then we'll that'll be it'll be a new challenge there again. Um, if you have any questions, drop them below. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. God bless.